Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of Crazy Craft Guys. Can we all put F's in comment section please? Oh dear, what have I done? I corrupted my well guys. <laughs> Whoopsie, uh, Dagon actually updated the packs, so I decided I'll delete the packs and put them on, sort of thing. And yeah, my world just got completely corrupted, guys. Um, I, I'm gonna start again, I really am, but I'm a bit annoyed to be fair, because obviously I did do quite a bit on there. Um, it wasn't too bad, but you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, if you don't mind, just put in F's in the comments section, because I'm such an idiot. Um, I'm gonna go for the exact same seed, and I really hope that you understand <laughs> what happened. I, I just thought I could just put the packs in, and it wouldn't affect it. I should have made a backup. I'm such an idiot for not doing that. Um, but anyway, let's just get on with this. I'm just gonna have to call this Crazy Craft... B2. <laughs> oh, God. Right, let's get on with it. Whoa! First of all, I'm noticing my field of view is weird. What's going on? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, we got we got fast running going on. Um, Okay, I need to sort this out. Bear with me. Uh, Let's drop that to 59.6.0. <laughs> That kind of looks more normal. Okay, so I've chosen the exact same seed as I had before, and I can see those weird monster things. Other than that, I don't really know what Dagon's done. He's fixed a lot of bugs, I think. I think we got Tree Decapitator now, is that correct? Yep, we have. I believe it's activated with Crouch. I don't know if that was supposed to be with only tools, though. Also, I believe he's taken out... Ooh, there must be a zombie spawner there. I think he's taken out all of the naturally spawning structures, right? But I know this seed pretty well, so... Oh, Christ, this is so weird. I can run really fast. I don't even need a horse, man. Anyway, I'm just going to go over here because I know there's a, uh, a double blacksmith in this village. So hopefully I can get some cool stuff. I'm hoping obsidian because I want to make that obsidian sword again because that was pretty good last time. Oh, we got apples for days. <laughs> And a bit of obsidian, which I'm pretty happy about. So I could definitely make that sword. Um, I think it was just a stick, right? So a lot of you are telling me about all this stuff in the comment section of last episode. About the vein miner, the tree decapitator. But obviously I didn't have it because I only had the first ever version. The beta version of this crazy craft pack. Um, so that's why I mainly updated it. Because uh, for you guys, you know, you, you're all suggesting these things that I couldn't... Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, cheese! Oh, wow. I don't actually need to take the saplings, but look at that. Look how much obsidian we just got. Okay, wow. <laughs> but yeah, you guys um, obviously told me about all these different things, but I can't, I can't use it. So I thought I'd better uh, go ahead and uh, actually, uh, you know, update the packs or whatever. Um, I'm just thinking as I'm talking here, I don't think I've got any uh, way of digging in here, so I better make some sort of pickaxe. Not so great so far. Not so great. Oh, Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. We've got a bit of feather falling, so I've got a bit of protection. Uh, I don't think I really need a horse in my speed. Whoa, we got some diamonds. I can't believe this. Okay, we've got enough iron here to make ourselves some sort of iron pick. Um, to be fair, I might take this rotten flesh because obviously I can trade with the uh, villagers. Good thinking there, Dan. Well, I'm going to hold off to getting a pick just for now because, again, there's quite a few villages on this uh, seed. So I might be able to just find one in one of their chests. Um, I'm just going to look for this cleric. I think I've just seen him there. Look, there he is. Whoa. Whoa, that went weird. We got an emerald! Just the one. <laughs> I think that thing's coming towards me, isn't it? I don't know. So I don't know if Dagon's added any more weird mobs or anything unusual like headless horses or anything again. Um, I'm yet to... Wow, I don't even know. I haven't even experienced this pack yet. I tried to, but then it just kind of messed up. Hang on, I just want to test. Does this actually work? Oh, it might do. That was one hit. 
Hmm. I don't really know the health on those uh, monsters. Anyway, let's go to this village and have an investigation. That's... They all seem to be one hit. Oh, this one's not. Okay, that's about five. I I'll have to test it on like a zombie or a creeper or something that I know the health of. Standard Dan Ross props here, collecting some hay for bread. <laughs> uh, yes, I love my bread. Let's uh, nick this dude's crafting table. There we go. Ah, so the shield is kind of normal now. You can see there's no more, um, what you call it, uh, like a dragon pattern on it anymore. Let's have a quick look a minute. Is Can we see any other custom blocks in here? Oh, yes, there is a couple of... Oh, okay. Jungle slab over dark oak slab. Okay, so there's mixed variants of them. Uh, oh, we could craft a monster spawner. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, I'm not really noticing a lot more. We could craft the uh, Elytra, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's quite hard to get, though. Um, oh, Eye of Ender. No, that's normal, Dan. <laughs> uh, I'm just noticing some things, that's all. Okay, other than that, we can't really see a lot. So, I don't really know a lot of the recipes. So, I'm going to have to go back on the comments section and read what some of you guys have read. Um, I know someone said something about a crazy sword, but I don't know if it's in here or not. Anyway, I know there's a temple somewhere around here with an outpost. If I remember off the top of my head. There it is. There's the outpost. We'll go to this other temple. It should be around here somewhere. So this is quite weird now because I used this seed last time, didn't I? On, you know, the first couple of episodes. And it was nothing like this. But now, because I think Dagon's taken out all the generation structures... It's made it back to normal, if that made any sense. So there's no more like custom biomes, if you like. So that coal biome is no more. Oh well. So I just came out the temple, guys. And I got two golden apples now, which is pretty good. I got a saddle in there, so obviously I can save that to get myself the elytra that i just seen you can craft. Um, I got a couple of books, nothing too fancy here. And a few more emeralds, which is pretty cool. And obviously, more rotten flesh. Now, I'm debating whether to go over here and take out these dudes. Um, I think before I do that, I might nick some of that wall off the uh, top of their tent over there. And make myself a lovely bed. Ooh, hang on. There's a... Uh, no. We're, screw that idea. We'll take the village. We'll take the... We'll go to the village over here first. And then we'll go to the pillager outpost, I think. So somebody called Yash... By God, I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly. I'll post your little comment on the screen. But he's told me I can make a knight sword with three obsidian and two diamonds in this shape, as I can see. So why don't we just try this? Because I'm quite intrigued by this. So let's grab this. Uh, a diamond is the dot here and a dot here. This, like that, like that. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so we cannot craft the night sword anymore. But thanks very much for your comment, dude. Obviously, yeah, it, it isn't working anymore. So if you're on the seed like me, um, the actual stronghold is just here. If you dig here, you can get down to the stronghold. It's pretty good. Um, but there is actually another way to get to the stronghold. And that is just by going down here. And just swimming. And you see this gravel here? You just go to this hole be able to swim down into the stronghold here we go Ta -da! and then you get to see the lovely cursed minecraft torch hanging um i was hoping i could find like a skeleton or something but i don't really want to go in here yet because i'm not really ready for it um i'd rather go to the nether i want to investigate if the nether is still scary because it was quite hard last time so I've just made some leggings, guys. I'm going to go and attack the outpost because I would like to get a raid on the go, really, because then, obviously, I can get loads of emeralds and away we go sort of thing. Um, I'm just kind of sticking with vanilla -y Minecraft for a minute because I don't really know any recipes. I'm going to have to wait till episode 5 to make some sort of recipes once you guys have told me some. I've had a look at Dagon's videos, but he doesn't really tell you anything about the recipes, unfortunately. Um... And I don't really know what mods are in here. I don't really want to go digging in the behavior pack files. 
Because technically that would be cheating in my eyes. Um, oh, there's another village over here. I didn't even know about this one. Or possibly I'll set the raid up to be there then instead. Oh, he's out here already. Look, easy. Let's see if his sword actually works. I think it does. Three hits. Must be still working then. Okay. Oh, hail the pillagers! <laughs> I haven't got a crossbow yet. I'm kind of sad about that. I want a crossbow. I like crossbows. Come on, give me a crossbow. That little green thing just killed me. Oh, you idiot. There he is. The deadly green thing. Die. There we go. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a crossbow. Um, so I'm going to have to craft a bow, but it's not really too biggy. Uh, let's grab all my other bits. I think that's all of it, right? Looks like it. Now, I might just have a quick look and investigation at night time because... I'm not really seeing a lot of crazy mobs like I was last time. Um, I could just see these weird square things. They seem to be everywhere. And they actually seem to be replacing normal vanilla Minecraft mobs. I mean, I haven't seen... I haven't even seen a hostile zombie or anything yet. A husk, even. You know, I'm in a desert, so... I'm a bit concerned that they... If he's added all them, I think he might have removed the... Vanilla Minecraft mobs. Oh, look at all these headless horses, man. Oh, these guys are so strong. <gasps> I need to get to bed. It's not chasing me, is it? Oh, look, the minotaurs are taking up. Oh, no, we're getting attacked by headless horses. Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> this is so stupid. We're getting attacked by headless horses. Oh, God. And i just seen this minotaur things. Yeah, they are. They're, they're there. <gasps> they're in, like, packs of four. Come on, Iron Golem. You're supposed to be doing your job. Oh, no! Oh, I thought it was a sheep. Right, I got the sword. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay. I need to just get in a house. Oh, we found one with a chest. Even better. Okay, so let's put on my armor again. I'm going to put this sacred thing there. Right, I'm going to make that my respawn. Uh, that can go back in my offhand. We'll use this chest with a bit of storage. You know what, guys? We've actually got enough obsidian to get to the nether. Shall I do it? I'm going to do it. Let's just do it. We could try and get some blaze rods quite quickly then. We can obviously get the uh, eyes of ender. Oh wow, the muddy pig thing's in this. I didn't know that. Do you drop anything? Just book. <laughs> Poor thing. I'm so mean. Right, has this all been cleared out now? Has Mr. Iron Golem done his job? No, not really. What's... Go away. Oh, we. I got to deal with these, have I? How strong are they? Pretty strong. Did I hear something teleport? See, I told you there was a sheep. That wasn't the sheep, was it? I don't think it was. It kind of looked like it was the sheep, though. You didn't bite me, did you? No. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Making sheep that bite you. Also, Vein Miner is in this, so I've just found a little cave. Let's try this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so good? <gasps> look how much it took. That was huge. Well, that saved me a bit of time. And also, the durability, it doesn't get ta like taken at all, which is pretty cool. So let me just grab some stone, and I'm going to take this iron, I think. If I brought my crafting table. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, look. Let's make another one. So from that, I just got 64 plus 7 pieces of coal. What on earth? And that was with a rubbish wooden pickaxe. Woo! Very OP. Let's try it with this iron then. Okay, it does work. It's pretty good. So I'm still looking for a bit of gravel at the moment. I haven't found any yet, fortunately. Hey, we found some, look. We go, I've got a piece of flint, as you can see. There it is. 
Cool. We can make a flint and steel then. There we go. So that's pretty good. We're all set for going to the nether. Um, do I need anything else from here? I don't know. How much iron have I got left now? 16. I reckon I could probably make a full set of iron gear pretty easily. Let's just let's just get out of here. So I'm using the old villager's blast furnace. Ah, thank you very much. So I've got 24 pieces of iron, which is pretty good. And if I just put this somewhere here. One iron helmet, one iron boots. So I'm pretty much ready to go to the nether. Right, let's sleep this night away. I'm just going to find my bed. Now I don't really know where to put the portal. I think I'm going to put it on top of the outpost just because it's... Oh no, I'll put it... I'll go up here, look. So I'm going to go up to the top of this little mountain and put it up here. I'm going to put it quite high. I don't know why. I just feel like it's going to be better higher. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't honestly know what the nether looks like on this seed. I didn't actually check it out. Um, so we shall find out together. Bucket, I need to go and get some water. Why am I actually going to grab some water? Oh, whatever. You can't use it in a never Dan. <laughs> it's just habits, man. It's just habits. You know, I get so used to uh, just having water on me at, at times. Just to break full, basically. Okay, I think I'm prepared. Let's do this. First of all, let's get rid of my map. I'll tell you what, actually. I'm not that prepared. I'm going to craft myself a shield as well. Just as an extra precaution here with gas fireballs or whatever's going to be firing fireballs at me. Whew. Right, let's do this. Scared. Whoa, bit laggy. Alright, so we still run fast in here. <gasps> this could be dangerous. Oh, we still got these eyeball things, but they're floating now. Okay. I don't know if they hurt you. Oh dear, he's on fire. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, what's down here? Anything? Oh, one of them again. And a weird zombie with glowing eyes. Oh well, he can't get me. Apparently. He goes dead. Does this thing drop anything? No. It's a shame that none of the mobs really drop anything. I'm kind of disappointed about it. It's kind of like, in fairness, it's kind of pointless killing them. Kind of like, makes me not even want to kill them. Because I don't think anything drops anything. It's sad, really. Oh, what's up there? Oh, it's those eyes again. Okay, well, oh no, it's not one of them. I don't think, oh, what are they? What's that? What is that? What are they? Oh no, it's that dude. Right, I need to go. It's just still as scary as I remember last time. Let's just hold the shield up and go through. Thank you. Oh god, oh god, it came through. What is that thing? Ah, right, it's dead. I wonder what the end's like. I really do. <laughs> Youch. Okay, well, I need to get some diamonds, and that was a terrible spawn for Never. I have no idea where the uh, fortress is. Um, backpacks is the other thing. I need a lot of leather for that. Yes, we got cows. There we go. I think I got enough leather, guys. We got enough. I'm pretty sure of it. Here we go. I think it's a diamond wrapped up in leather. No, it's not. Oh, what is it then? Oh, I was so scared then. I thought I was an enemy. Hmm. I don't honestly know what the recipe is for the backpack. Let me have a little look on the old interweb and I shall be back. Get out of here, you stupid zombie. I'm reading on the internet. 
So I don't know which uh, mod he's actually used this from. Is it just nine of these? No. There's one where it shows it like this. No. I don't know, guys. I really don't. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is actually go on the behaviors and look at this myself. I don't think the backpacks are in this anymore. I don't know if Dagon had to remove them or something. I can't find anything on the behavior pack. But I did notice something. As I've got potatoes, apparently I can make some fries. <laughs> What's the point of this? Oh my god. <laughs> you can't even eat them. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to cook it, right? Alright, let's go find my furnace. I know it's a blast furnace, but uh, I think it's this one. I'm sure it's going to work. Oh my god, what is that? A zombie fried chicken. Weird. Oh, the fries don't go in there. Okay, we got a dude there with a shield. I'm a bit scared about him. I might go and try and take him out for a laugh. Oh. Mr. Golem's just whipping up. <laughs> oh, you get him, Golem. You get him. Uh, so I also noticed there was a uh, katana. A diamond katana. I don't know what that's like. It doesn't tell you the damage value, Lick. I want to know if it's better than that. That's the thing. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it for now. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I'm not really 100% convinced this pack's finished. Again, it's still a bit odd. Um, I kind of preferred the first version to this version. Apart from the structures was annoying. But I think Dagon's messed around too much. And it's kind of broke a lot of things. But I'm not too sure. I don't know. I could be wrong though. Anyway, if you know anything about this pack, obviously leave a comment in the comment section. But thanks very much for watching episode 4. I'm really sorry that I obviously had uh, technical issues. And I corrupted my world because I'm an idiot. Anyway, thanks very much. I'm Darren Probs, And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Fries. Oh, I can eat it. I can eat it. But it doesn't even do anything. <laughs> what an absolutely pointless item. I love it.